So depending on what your amp's capable of and what exactly your speaker setup is, um, it's going to determine what the impedance of the speaker is that you're going to need. So you may need 8 ohm speakers or 16 ohm speakers. If you wire them in series, you add the impedance together. So if you've got 8 ohm speakers and a 2x12, that's 16 ohms in total because it's 8 plus 8. Um, if you run speakers in parallel, it then halves. So two 16 ohm speakers uh, wired in parallel would make an 8 ohm cab. And for 4x12s, you can make a few different combinations. Say if you had 4 ohm speakers and you had 4 of them in series, that would be a 16 ohm cab, which is why if you've ever had a stereo cab and it's 8 ohms per side, if you then add them together, depending on the switching of the circuit, it might be 4 ohms for parallel or 16 ohms for uh, series. So really depends on which one you pick and they do sound different. They make the amp behave slightly differently and the actual response of the speakers is slightly different. So this is a vintage 30 that everybody knows and I'm going to play back to back the comparison of the 8 ohm and the 16 ohm speakers. So I hope you find this useful. Um, thanks in advance for watching. I'm going to put the comparison at the end. Um, stick around for the rest of the series. We're, go we're going to talk about Creambacks and the Signature series with the EVH and the Lynchback.